As someone who is admittedly AI hesitant, I feel like I've done a 180 on my opinion of AI tools recently. I've been vibe coding a lot and using it to write descriptions and sift through podcast transcripts. And I have even asked it to give me suggestions for editing my podcast episodes, which it, it doesn't really do a very good job at that. The point is, I have been thinking about ways where I could reasonably use AI in my everyday life to make things easier for me. On my podcast, Streamline Solopreneur, I've thought about, am I outsourcing critical thinking to AI? AI is really a tool to help us do things better. And so I came up with a project that AI should be really well suited to do. Every year, my kid's school sends us the school calendar as a Word document. But a calendar being in a Word doc is largely useless to me. My wife knows that calendar events are my love language. And if something doesn't exist on the calendar in my calendar app, it might as well not be happening. What I decided to do was pit ChatGPT against Claude against Gemini to see which of these AI tools would do the best converting a Word document to an ICS file. Let's see how it went. Okay, so you can see here on the Word document, it's, it's a standard Word document as far as they go, but there's no standard format. There's no standard format for the time. AM and PM are not noted every single time. If there are multiple events on a day, they are either on a different line or separated via a semicolon or a slash or a comma. And there's a Christmas break right in the middle that doesn't follow the format at all, which makes me wonder how good will AI tools do if I give it this with little instruction and say, turn this into an ICS file for me. So I started with ChatGPT first, full disclosure. I actually did do this last year. The problem with me doing it last year was it got me a lot of the way there, but I did do stuff manually. My goal here was to validate the data ahead of time and then not have to change any of the calendar events manually. So this is the prompt that I used for every single tool. Each tool got the same prompt. This is a Word doc for the 25-26 academic year calendar for my kids' school. Uh, not the best wording, I guess, there. My ultimate goal is to convert this into an ICS. I can add to iCloud Apple Calendar. I'd like to verify the info first, though. Using this doc, can you print the calendar view of events? Please note that the formatting isn't always completely consistent. It will usually go day of week, space, month, day, space, name of event, space, time. There may be no time, only a start time or a time span, start to end time. Two days are usually noted as day one slash day two, e.g. May one slash two, and date spans will be first dash last day, e.g. May one dash five. There could be multiple events per day. Christmas break does not follow the normal format, this is a call out between December and January. So here is the calendar view it gave me. This is unreadable. I could not read this. And then it did the same thing for September. Here's a calendar view of August and September showing the school scheduled events. I was like, whatever, it did something. Uh, if you'd like me to continue generating the rest of the school year this way or convert it all to ICS, let me know. I said, yes, let's do it. So it gave me a structured calendar view of events. This is a table of events. We won't go through all of this, but with ChatGPT, you can actually click on a cell to directly reference it in a prompt, which is neat. And I said, this is actually three events. And then it updated it for that. I said, are you properly noting the times? This cell only had the date, even when times are associated with events. So then it, it said, would you like me to go ahead and with parsing and normalizing times. I said, yes, times are very important for calendar events. Uh, and then, okay, it went through this whole thing. Notice that AM and PM are not included, which is problematic for a ICS start time because it's not including it in the ICS start time. So again, problematic. This is incorrect. I'd like to make sure the start and, start and date times are, I meant end there. If there's no AM or PM marker, assume it's 11, 8 to 11 is AM and 12 to 7 is PM. That felt like a really clear instruction and uh, it didn't go super well. For example, well, I, I, I'll walk you through these prompts. 
this is showing am why and then it explains everything it messed up this is two events okay again it messes it up that doesn't look right um you're still messing up a up am and pm do you understand what the range is 8 to 11 for am and uh 12 to 7 for pm include and then it tells me and it still messes it up and it, it goes on to tell me that it like assumed the range was always going to be the same so like it wasn't the logic was not the time logic was bad so we went back and forth for a while on this and at one point i'm like forget it this is still wrong you didn't include uh, christmas break Am I telling you too many things? So chat GPT, incredible failure on this, which is ultimately what made me try something else. So I decided to go to Claude and give it the same exact prompt. Claude completely fell down. It tried analyzing code and then messed it up again and then noticed discrepancies and then just fell apart. So that one, not great. Again, the data it's getting is not standardized. You know, it's doing its large language model thing, but Claude completely fell on his face. Chat GPT, not very good. And so that's when I decided, let me see how Gemini does. So Google Gemini, same thing. This is a Word doc, same exact prompt. Here's a calendar view of the events for the 2025-2026 school year based on the provided document. I will save you the trouble of scanning this. This is exactly right. Times and everything. Amazing. Can you create an ICS for me to import into my calendar? It generates the ICS. I copied this. I pasted it. And I noticed one hopefully insignificant problem. One more thing. In the ICS, it looks like all day events are showing up as 12 a.m. to 12 a.m., can you denote them as all day events without an associated time? And then it did it. So Google Gemini here won by a landslide. And I know that people have been telling me for a while, oh, Google Gemini is actually the best. And I just like, you know, I spent, maybe it was like the sunk cost theory or the sunk cost fallacy, but I had spent a lot of time training ChatGPT. I spent a lot of time training Claude and I did this with ChatGPT last year, and the difference between the models is considerable. And so I thought, oh man, this will probably be way easy in ChatGPT. ChatGPT got in its own way way too much. Claude didn't even get out of the starting gate. Gemini did an amazing job. Two prompts or three, maybe three prompts. The original prompt, yes, export this to an ICS. Can you fix the all day times? Amazing no manual work. I imported it into my calendar. I shared it with my wife. I spot checked everything so I could kind of look through it quickly without having to comb through it precisely. And again, just an amazing job. So the winner by a landslide is Google Gemini. I was able to give it a Word document with unstandardized calendar events, and it turned it into an ICS that I imported into Fantastical. No problem. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to kind of show you my quick shootout between ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini. In this instance, Gemini won. I guess full disclosure, I am paying for all of them. Gemini comes with my Google Workspace account. So these are all the paid versions. I'm I'm becoming disenchanted with both Claude and ChatGPT. Maybe this is something that just like on a long enough timeline, you know, like the Fight Club quote, life expectancy goes to zero. On a long enough timeline, every AI tool just turns into general garbage. But we'll see. That, that task, the data processing task, that's saving me a ton of time. Congrats, Gemini. You did a great job. Let me know in the comments what you use Google Gemini for or what your favorite AI model is. I'm I'm now super open to using Gemini. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like and subscribe to this channel. And until next time, I hope you find some space in your week.